Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my August favorites. I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys this month, so I'm just going to get right into it so I can try and make this not too long. So the first thing I want to talk about was some new hair products I've been using. Um, I did a whole Shaw routine, hair care routine, where I showed you guys my little regimen and all that. So I'll link that down below if you want to see it. But I did mention in that video that I was using some new products. Um, the first being my shampoo and conditioner. So these are from New Me, the White Truffle line. This is the shampoo and conditioner. I also have, I have the whole line. So like the mask and the primer, the detangler and all that. But just wanted to tell you guys that I'm still loving this. But it's made a huge difference in my hair. It's a lot more manageable and easy to style. Um, but it's not, and it's also not frizzy or anything like that. So basically I was just having a lot of trouble with my hair no matter what I did. It never came out the way I wanted it to. So I wanted to change everything up. I stopped using the Joyco and I got this and I love it. So I will have a coupon code down below for you guys. And then I also started using this protective smoothing lotion from Redken. It's called the Align 12. Never heard anybody talk about this before, but it has helped my hair so much. My hair used to, it was just getting like really frizzy and dry. It wouldn't stay straight. It wouldn't stay curled. It wouldn't do anything. So um, I put this in my hair right before I blow dry it. When it's wet, um, I put a lot, like a quarter size amount. Um, and it really gets rid of all that frizz. It kind of smooths out my curl a little bit, but it doesn't make my hair greasy or weigh it down. So I've also been trying out a new hairspray. This one is by Not Your Mother's. It's called She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. You can get it at any drugstore. I think I got mine at the grocery store. Um, but I usually use like the L'Oreal Elnet hairspray and then the L'Oreal Boost It spray for like teasing my hair and getting volume which I love, that L'Oreal spray, but this has been able to be a teasing spray and a hairspray in one. So I still love that L'Oreal stuff, but I don't need to use it because I only need to use one product now. So that's kind of cool. If you guys are in a hurry, you like to keep things simple, you probably like this because I can use it to tease. You can see like my hair, I think it's pretty big today. And then um, I use it just to keep my hair smooth and everything and I really like it and it's so cheap and it doesn't smell bad. The L'Oreal Elnette doesn't smell that great. This smells pretty good. Okay, so that is enough of the hair products. I did want to mention the book that I've been listening to this month. It's by Nicholas Sparks. I love anything he writes, but there's a new movie coming out based on his book called The Best of Me. So I always love to read the books before I go to the movie. I think the movie comes out in October. So I've been listening to that. Um, it's pretty good. It's kind of, it's similar to The Notebook so, so far actually, but um, basically like two teenagers that fall in love and then they can't stay together and um, they meet up again later in life. But anyways, um, I listened to it on Audible. I told you guys before that I love listening to books on Audible. It's really easy. I just go every month and pick out the book that I want to listen to that month. They have like over 150,000 different books. And then I can just download it right onto my phone. Michael downloads it onto his iPad. He listens to books at night before he goes to bed. But Audible is offering you guys a free 30-day membership and one free book to try. You just have to go to audible.com slash Alex Garza and choose whatever book you want. And like I said, you guys can have it on your phone or your iPad. It's really nice. I listen to it when I'm in the car or when I'm on a walk or at night before I go to bed. It's a really easy way to read books. Because, Anyways, audible.com slash Alex Garza and you guys can try it out. Okay, now moving into makeup, my favorite part. The first thing that I wanted to mention was the It's Judy Time palette. You can get this from BH Cosmetics. Oh, I love this. I recently went on vacation with my family and I was like, trying to decide what makeup to bring with me because it wasn't like a super, like I didn't need to bring a ton, we were just going up to the lake. So um, this was awesome. It's so tiny. You can see it's really tiny. It's like half the size of most regular palettes, but it comes with 12 different eyeshadows, all neutral except for a few blue at the bottom here. But ugh, if I were to create my own palette, I would have done the same thing as she did. This is awesome. It's like warm tone browns, you have a lot of mattes, but you also have some shimmer, you have a matte highlight, and then you have that dark navy if you want to kind of do more of a colorful look. So I love this palette. 
So also on my trip, I didn't really want to wear full coverage foundation since we were going to be um, just kind of like at the beach and lounging around. It wasn't like anything fancy. So I brought my um, Benefit Big Easy BB Cream. Forgot how much I love this stuff. It gives you that same full coverage look of a foundation, but it feels super lightweight on your skin um, and it has SPF 35. So I love this. I forgot my sunscreen for my face. So this was perfect. It worked throughout the whole week. It didn't melt off or anything. Um, it's oil free, so it didn't clog my pores, but I just love this stuff. Another love this month has been my NARS concealer. I have talked about this in a few tutorials, but it's called the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I am in the shade medium too. Um, you guys have been asking what shade I wear. Oh, I love this concealer. I don't like feel the need to ever change it up or use anything different. It's so like airbrush looking on your skin. Like it just looks flawless. The first time I used it, I was like so impressed. I love it. Um, you can blend it in with a brush or a beauty blender, whatever. I have been using the Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush. It's like a small um, pointy concealer brush. These two work together greatly, but I've also used my beauty blender with it too. Okay, mascara. I um, have like a whole drawer full of like random stuff that I haven't even opened yet. And so whenever like I run out of something, I just open that drawer and see what I can use next. And I ran out of my um, Hello Lashes by It Cosmetics. So I tried, um, I had a sample of the YSL Baby Doll Mascara and I love it. So it's similar to their Real in that it gives you a lot of volume and a lot of length, but it makes your lashes look more like uniform, almost like, you know how false lashes, they just look so like perfectly cut and they, you know, I don't even know the word, but you know what I mean? Like they don't look so spidery and one short and one long and all over the place. They make your lashes just look more uniform and very polished. So I love this. Once I run out of this, I'm definitely buying the full size for sure. I did want to mention the powder foundation that I've been using this month. Um, this is by Pure. It's just their um, four in one regular foundation. I have used this for a long time, for years off and on. And I love it so much because it gives you like immediate full coverage, flawless face. And I know that sounds weird from a powder, but trust me, it does. So I am in the shade light tan. Um, this one's almost gone. I kind of used it up mostly, but I just love this stuff. I use it with like a really dense flat top brush and it gives me super full coverage on those days when I don't want to wear a liquid or even on top of a liquid to give me more of a matte look. Um, really pretty. And I love this stuff. I don't hear too many people talk about Pure, so I did want to mention it. Um, it's one of my favorites. Okay, so I did want to mention something that I didn't really like this month. Um, I have been hearing so many people talk about this for months that I just had to try it. It's the Becca um, highlighter in the shade Opal. When you swatch it on your hand, look at it in the store, it's just beautiful. It looks like it's going to be amazing. Every time I see somebody wearing it, I love it. So I thought I would love it also, but I just don't. I think I've only used it like twice since I bought it. It's just too much for me. It makes me just look like too shiny and greasy and not like a pretty glow. Just like glitter on your face. It's just too much. So um, I like the like shade, how it's that opal shade, but it's just way too chalky and too much on my skin. Um, but something that gives me the kind of look that I was going for when I bought this is the um, Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination. I have used this in a few tutorials also, but this is exactly what I was looking for. Something that would give me a glow and a highlighted look without looking chalky or just like glitter on your skin. So I love this and it's very natural, very subtle, but really pretty. Okay, so I wanted to mention a few pieces of jewelry that I've been loving this month and then I will let you guys go and I am done. So the first is what I'm wearing today. These are my bracelets from Sweet Tea Jewels. You guys know I love this line and this company. Um, she makes incredible wire bangles that I love. Um, I recently posted a picture on Instagram that I got a monogram one from her and it's so pretty. I love wearing it with like just my regular gold bangles that I wear every day. Um, but this is a new set that I got for fall. It's gorgeous. It's a rose gold um, with like some 
green and some iridescent like purple and blue stone, some pink, really pretty. It's going to go great with a lot of like navy and brown for fall. And then my last thing is some Alex and Ani bracelets. I had, I had two of these bracelets that I got back a while ago um, from Disney World. I have talked about these before. I just love them. Um, I had the A and the Walt Disney World like castle. But then this month I got two more. Um, another one from Disney that uh, Michael's family got for me and it's um, my birthstone, January, and then it has the little Mickey ears. Super cute. I love this one. It adds a little pop of color to these bangles. And then I also got one um, myself and it has a little mermaid on it. It's so cute. I have never seen this one before. So I love Alex and Ani bracelets. I think they're great for like layering and stacking and just good everyday bracelets. Okay, so that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorites for the month of August were. Just leave it down below in a comment. I love getting new ideas from you guys and hearing what you love also. Um, and please give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do favorites every month. Sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't. I don't know if you guys like them, so give me a thumbs up if you do like them. Um, and subscribe if you haven't yet. I make new videos every single week. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Sky.